chest, my brothers and my sisters, for the love of Christ constraineth us, because we that we thus judge that if one died for all, then we all are dead. And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves. Here it is, Paul says that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, has died for each and every last one of us. That the Lord and Savior has done something for each and every last one of us uh, that we could never do for ourselves. Uh, that, that he has worked out some stuff on our behalf uh, that you and I could never work out on our own. That, 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 that he has done something for each and every last one of us uh, that we could never accomplish uh, by ourselves. He done died for each and every last one of us. Uh, and now because of this, uh, Paul lifts this 16th verse uh, of this 5th chapter uh, of the 2nd epistle uh, to the Corinthian church. Wherefore, henceforth, no we, no man, after the flesh. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says in this NIV version, New Living Translation, if you will. So, we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. Because Christ done did what he did. Because Christ has done what only he can do. We have stopped evaluating everybody else based on a human point of view. To remind somebody under the sound of my congested voice uh, that we serve a God uh, that knows exactly how to wipe our slate. Uh, and since he has shouted out our wrongs, uh, since he has cleared us of our sins, uh, since he has reconciled us uh, because of what we used to do, uh, you and I can no longer hold other people uh, to who they used to be. Uh, you and I can no longer hold other people uh, to how they used to act. Uh, you, you and I can no longer hold people uh, to what they used to be. Uh, because any man uh, who is in uh, Christ, uh, now they're not the same person they used to be. They, they're not the same ones uh, who they who you used to see you walking. Uh, that they're not the same ones uh, who you used to see talking. Uh, but they're a new creature. Good afternoon, well, it's still morning. Good morning, y'all. May the Lord God bless you real good. But let me remind somebody that greater harvest ought to be a no judgment zone. That this house of prayer ought not to sit in a seat of judgment. But you and I got to stop evaluating folks based upon the human standards, based upon human records, based upon what we used to say, based upon how we used to act, but you got to learn to get in the forefront of your mind that you're not who you used to be, that you're not who you used to be. Thank <laughs> you.